A dark Wednesday for the inhabitants of Kombe along the Yaoundé Sangmelima Highway. As a result of a head on collision between a logging truck and a coaster belonging to an intercity travel agency, about 18 persons perished on the spot near the Nimeyon Bend. Even though the real cause of the face-off is not yet known, sources say a lot of speed should have provoked the accident. For several hours, with the help of the elements of the firefighters unit from Yaoundé, the lifeless bodies were loaded in their pickups and taken to the mortuary. Sources say no one survived. As this is terrible. 18 people gone at the spot. And some are in the hospital seriously wounded. If we do not change our mentality positively, we will keep on dying. All the deadly, the frequent root accident in Cameroon is as a result of poor mentality on the part of the driver the passengers, and the government. Poor mentality because we refuse to learn. Today in Cameroon, moving from one place to another is like going on a voluntary suicide mission because you don't know whether you arrive your destination because of carelessness, overspeeding, overloading, vehicles in bad condition. Drivers in who are not qualified to drive, who are not worthy to go out there. We keep on talking. And many people are taking it for granted, believing that, no, we can do it. A just went and arrived here one day. We are overloading a vehicle. B just did this. A C was driving a car that was in bad condition. And for one month today, nothing happened. So let me do it. And this is the kind of mentality we are having in Cameroon. And every day, people are going. You left your house. Going traveling. To arrive somewhere. And finally end on the way. Never to return. Because of one stupid, careless, mental a, a, a person called a driver. If you see the kind of damage on these vehicles, you know that it is as a result of overspeed. You don't need anybody to tell you. And where are we overspeeding? In this farm to market route that the government of President Pobia has given us. That is what I keep, I stop blaming the government for all the frequent root and deadly root accident in Cameroon. Because if you, as a driver, know wherefore that the route you are driving on is not good, you have to drive slowly and you have to be very careful. But in Cameroon, no. They want it to happen so that they will say it is a government. It is not everything we should be pointing and accusing fingers against the government. The government has failed. Yes, as the government have failed in all the men, they have not given you electricity. Are you staying in the darkness? No, you struggle to look for a, 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 a local lamp so that you can be using, managing that one. You are careful. The government refused to give you drinkable water. What are you doing? Are you drinking dirty water from gutters? No, you have to fish water to draw go by all possible women to preserve that water so that it will be pure and be drinkable. So that is the exact thing we have to do concerning root in Cameroon. When you are leaving your house, the first thing you have to ask yourself is, is my vehicle okay? And if yes, everything is okay, you check everything and it's okay, then you ask yourself, Am I capable and able to drive? Am I physically fit, emotionally fit, psychologically fit? Some people have serious mental problems. 
but they are driving. In Cameroon today, frustrated people, people who are depressed, people who are even confused, you see, sit on a, on a bike or inside a car and the driver is talking alone, grumbling alone because of too much problems. But they cannot see because they believe that driving is an occupation and they have their own personal vehicles. And in which they are the driver, they don't have any other person or companies employed just few drivers and one person is driving for the whole day without rest and then you are expecting that there will be no accident if we do not change our mentality positively we will keep on going because of carelessness stupidity and ignorance if this is your first time joining TFA Talking Points subscribe to our channel follow us on all our social media platform we pray and we say Make the comfort of God be upon all the bereaved families.